All right. None of this was on your reference sheet, but I wanted to go ahead and put that on there just so you would remember how to do stuff. So um, there's two ways to create an array. Okay, uh, the first is an empty array with the default value, so that's new, uh, what you want it to be filled with, and then the size. The other way to create an array is with these curly braces and then uh, all of the values in commas. Okay, uh, make sure if you want it to be an array, you put the name of what you want it to hold, you know, the the values that are going to be in the array, and then those square braces to say that it's an array. Okay. To find the length of the array, it's dot length with no parentheses. It's a little weird. Okay. But uh, if you accidentally put parentheses on the AP test, it's not going to yell at you. That's, that's one of those harmless errors they won't count off for. Um... All right, if you want to get the value of something in an array, you put the name of the array and uh, square braces and then the location there. So, um, pokes um, four is gonna get you whatever lives at index four of pokes. All right, um, if you want to change the value of something in an array, you just uh, reference the position, and then you say what um, what you want to change the value to. Okay, and real quick, I went ahead and put all of the default values of the array. Ants are zero, uh, doubles are zero point zero, boolean is false. String or any other objects is null. That's very important because if you're looping through and uh, you try to call a method on that, uh, it's going to get you that null pointer exception, you're going to lose a point. Um, so uh, that's only an issue with objects in arrays. So there you go.